Alrighty, awesome. Well, welcome everyone to StriveScan College Launchpad. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today, and they're here to share more about their school and their STEM programs. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but we'll be around for the entire session to answer questions. My name is Chelsea, and I will be your facilitator for the event. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use that Q&A button on your screen to type questions to our presenters at any time. This is one of many sessions happening, so be sure to check the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com launch. And I now like to turn it over to our first presenter, and that is Newman University. Hi, everybody. I am gonna pull up my presentation really quick. Thank you all for joining us this evening. We're here for some great schools today. There we are. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Georgia Drews. I'm the Associate Director of Admissions at Newman University in Wichita, Kansas. And if you're not sure where Wichita is, we are smack dab in the middle of the United States. Uh, you might be thinking cows, corn, wheat. You're not wrong, but Newman University is in Wichita, the largest city in Kansas, which has about 600,000 people living in it. Uh, really affordable cost of living here. Uh, and even though we're a small school and we're in the Midwest, we are an NCAA Division II school. Um, our university is a little bit more urban. We're located just outside of downtown Wichita, which you can see here at the top of the screen. And I love this picture, one, because it shows you our campus, but also because you can see the quintessential Midwest Kansas storm rolling in in the evening. Um, I do like some good tornado weather. Uh, but this is our campus, a 61 acre park lake campus. We're pretty small here at Newman University. Uh, and I always like to show during these presentations our um, a little more close up of downtown. So you can see this is kind of an urban area, but if you got 15 to 20 minutes outside of town, it's still kind of that rural feel. Uh, Wichita is the air capital of the world. So we are surrounded and uh, have a lot of aircraft companies within our city. Uh, we make a lot of airplanes. If you've been on an airplane, chances are some part of it, if not the whole thing, was made here in Wichita. Uh, and if you remember anything about today's presentation, remember this. If you're a Star Wars fan, you should definitely come to Wichita because Harrison Ford loves aircrafts, and he comes to Wichita about two to three times a year to get his aircraft serviced. And while he's here waiting, he gets a hotel, he rents a car, he goes to some of his favorite restaurants, like the Doodah Diner downtown. Um, so there's a chance two to three times a year to run into Harrison Ford here. Uh, a little bit more about Newman University. We are a Catholic school. We were founded in 1933 by a group of Catholic sisters called the Adores of the Blood of Christ. And we're named after that little guy, St. John Henry Newman. He was just canonized a saint by Pope Francis back in 2019. So we've been having a lot of fun with his likeness as a baby saint. We turn him into a Funko Pop. Uh, but he had some really cool ideas about what it meant to get a Catholic liberal arts education. So we follow his lead on that. This is our uh, mission as a university, and it tells you a little bit of the stuff I just said. Uh, but the big thing here is that our purpose is to train you to go out and empower, uh, to transform society. So we wanna empower you as a grad to go out and transform society. Uh, we're a pretty small school. We only have about 1200 students that attend Newman University, which gives us a pretty good student to faculty ratio, um, as well as smaller class sizes. So on average 15, but the largest classroom we have on campus seats 90. Uh, so you won't see classes any bigger than that. Um, this is a smaller classroom. Uh, for better or for worse, your professors are gonna know what you're good at, what you're not good at. They're probably gonna hold you accountable, want you to be involved in discussion, and they might even text you if you're running late for class. Um, as far as STEM opportunities go, we have quite a few of them. Uh, we have a science center that opened in 29, uh, 2017 here on campus, named after a uh, former bishop of the city of Wichita, Bishop Gerber. Uh, fantastic building. I was not a science major when I was at Newman, but they have a lot of really cool study spaces in this building. And it is also incredibly energy efficient, which I can appreciate. Uh, if you're looking to get a bachelor's of arts or science, we have some different options for you. Biochemistry, biology, chemistry, and mathematics are our main options. If you're looking to teach in any one of these given areas, we also have secondary education degrees where you can teach in these content areas. Now, if you're choosing chemistry, we do have some concentrations that you can choose to add on to that. Uh, Pre-pharmacy is incredibly popular as is forensic science, but again, there is a teaching emphasis if you feel like that's what you want to do with this degree. 
Uh, we also have pre-professional concentrations. So if you choose biology or biochemistry, we do send students to a lot of these professional programs for graduate school, especially pre-med. Uh, we have a lot of students that go to med school. Uh, and these are some of the graduate programs we've recently sent students to. We tend to have students go to Notre Dame for research purposes in biology and chemistry. Uh, we've had students go to chiropractic school. We send a lot of students to KU School of Medicine because they have a location here in Wichita. Uh, we even sent biology and science-based students to law school, like Washburn Law, uh, vet school, PA school. So there's a lot of different options, and we've sent students all over the country. Uh, if you're thinking STEM means more healthcare to you, we do have cohort programs in sonography, OTA, respiratory care, nursing, and radiologic technology. Uh, OTA, respiratory care, and rad tech are associate's degrees, sonography and nursing are bachelor's degrees. Uh, if you are highly motivated by sports, these are all the things that you can get, get athletic scholarships for on the men's and women's list. I came here for the awesome bowling team. And these are the ways that you can get scholarships as a first time student. We have a free application, we're test optional. So you need only a 2.25 GPA or a 21 on your ACT to be automatically accepted. And we typically award you the scholarship uh, based on whichever criteria is higher on this list. Uh, scholarships are 10 to $16,000 per year for four years, as long as you maintain at least a 2.0 while you're here at Newman. We also have other options like a full tuition scholarship, those based on community service and an honors program, as well as athletics, music and other special interest areas where you can get scholarships. Uh, if you happen to be graduating from a Catholic high school or just Catholic and going to a public school or homeschool, um, you do get guaranteed at least $14,000 on the scale via our Catholic Promise or Catholic Leaders of Tomorrow options. Um, if you're interested in Newman at all, I would encourage you to scan the QR code on the screen, uh, make a digital custom view book for yourself. It allows you to make a view book that has just the things that you wanna know about within it. And uh, you can save it, it gets sent to your phone and your email. You can go back in and edit it at any time to add or change your options. Um, parents on the call, you are welcome to do this as well. But thank you for learning more about Newman University. Enjoy the rest of these awesome schools. Thank you. All right, next up we have Oklahoma City University. Can you see my screen? Um, all right, so my name is Dina Trusky. I am an undergraduate admissions counselor at Oklahoma City University. Um, we are a private co-ed institution um, right in the heart of Oklahoma City. Uh, we are United Methodist affiliated, but um, students aren't required to um, be Methodist or um, anything like that. Um, we have about 1,600 undergrad um, students and 1,400 grad students on campus. Um, and so being a small university allows students to have one-on-one um, -on -one time with their professors. Um, our classes tend to be discussion-based um, rather than lecture-based. Um, so students truly get um, to guide their learning experience um, here at OCU. A wide variety of STEM degree programs um, under our college of, um, our Petrie College of Arts and Sciences. Um, and our students benefit from an 85% placement rate um, into graduate schools. Um, and then to prepare students for um, post-graduation, um, whether that's through uh, mock interviews or internship opportunities. Um, and then our nursing students spend the first two years um, completing basic courses, um, and then they move into their nursing school the junior and senior year, and so they don't have to worry about applying to a nursing program. They automatically get to go into that. Uh, we have professional partnerships with local hospitals that are um, within a 15 minute, minute drive uh, to our campus, and um, so students don't have to travel really far for their clinicals. Um, and then next, I'd like to point out our pre-engineering program. Um, we have a partnership with Washington University in St. Louis. Um, and so students can choose between a dual degree program, um, which is three years at OCU um, and two years at Washington University, um, where they would graduate with two bachelor degrees. 
or there's a triple degree program, which is three years at OCU and three years at Washington University. Um, and that um, route would give them a two bachelor degrees um, and then a master's degree. Um, and lastly, uh, we offer game design and animation um, as well as computer science. Um, and both degrees work well together. Uh, we have our own lab um, with an esports team that practices um, there. And then we have a motion capture facility. Um, in the computer science program, students are exposed to a variety of different types of software development. Um, so they can find the area that interests them, interests them most. Um, and these are cybersecurity, game development, mobile development, web development, um, and then uh, working with databases. Okay, and to give you a visual, um, on top we have our game design and animation lab, uh, where students use their skills to develop the many different um, layers inside any type of animation, whether that's film um, or gaming. And then right below that are um, some pictures of our motion capture facility um, where students can capture the necessary movements for animations they are currently working on. All right, and then um, most of our programs I mentioned today have competitive scholarships. Um, you'll see the computer science fellows, game design animation, pre-engineering, um, and esports. Um, and this is all on our website uh, with more details. And then first-time freshmen receive automatic merit-based scholarships. Um, they are four-year renewable as long as you maintain a 3.0 GPA while at OCU. Um, and they are stackable with most of our competitive scholarships. Um, and then to apply to OCU, students would submit their application, whether that's through Common App, um, or our university application. Um, we will need a recommendation letter from your high school counselor, um, your high school transcript, resume, um, and then the application fee or fee waiver. Um, we are test optional, but some competitive scholarships may request um, test scores. Okay, and then this is my contact information. Um, feel free to email, call, or text me with any questions. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, next up is University of Wyoming. Perfect. Can everybody see me and hear me all right? <clears throat> oh. All good. Perfect. We'll go ahead and get started here. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Logan Weinhold. I'm an admissions representative for the University of Wyoming, and I'm here today to share with you about our STEM programs and all the great things we have to offer here at the University of Wyoming. Uh, Laramie, Wyoming. Lair the University of Wyoming is located in Laramie, Wyoming. We sit at 7,220 feet above sea level. We're the highest division one campus in the country. So I like to say we're above the rest here in Laramie, Wyoming. Uh, if you enjoy spending time outside, then look no further than the University of Wyoming. We are the number one outdoor school in the nation. We have 2.9 million acres of national forests that surround our campus, along with only 15 minutes away from over 100 miles of hiking and biking trails, and then 30 minutes away from affordable ski and snow no sports. Um, Laramie is home to about 32,000 people. Um, we have no professional sports here in Wyoming, so the whole state turns out for our Cowboys and Cowgirls sporting events, so it's a lot of fun and a really lively community here in Laramie. Uh, we have 11,800 students uh, currently enrolled at the University of Wyoming. 10,000 of these are undergraduate students. Um, by definition, this makes us a mid-sized university, and the reason that's important for you as a student is you don't want to get lost in the crowd of a large school. Um, you're going to get to know your student body and you're going to get to know your professors and they're going to get to know you. Um, with an average class size of 30 and a student to faculty ratio of 14 to 1, you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one instruction that's really important, especially in a STEM major. Um, we also have 17 Division I athletics here at the University of Wyoming, so we do have that big school feel if you like the idea of being able to go to those big sporting events with people from all over the state and the country here supporting our Cowboys and Cowgirls. 
Um, we have students represented from all 50 states here at the University of Wyoming and 83 countries. We have a very diverse campus. 57% um, of our students are Wyoming residents, 43% of them are non-residents. Um, but one thing that makes us really unique is that we're a nationally recognized research institution. Um, this is a really big deal, especially when it comes to STEM, right? You all want to get your hands dirty and do the career that you want to do while you're in your undergrad. Um, that's what we're all about here, hands-on learning and hands-on experiences. Um, we have over 200 areas of study, majors and minors are possible, along with double majoring. All of those things are possible here at UW. Um, we have eight different colleges here at the University of Wyoming. Um, I outlined here some of our um, engineering major specific programs that we offer. Um, we are a tier one engineering institution, along with we also have a nursing program that is nationally ranked. What's really unique about our nursing program is we have a fully functioning hospital here on campus. So you'll get hands-on experience from day one, which is what it's all about. Along with we also have a pharmacy program and we have a fully functioning pharmacy here on campus. So if you're looking for an education where you can get hands-on experience, look no further than the University of Wyoming. Um, if you all are interested in studying abroad, we will be the university for you. We have the largest study abroad endowment in the nation. Um, Thanks to our former vice president, Dick Cheney, uh, who is a UW alum. He set up this endowment for us. So we have hundreds of millions of dollars to help send you all over the globe to over 400 different locations worldwide. We also have some domestic locations available as well. Uh, I also like to bring up that we also have engineers without borders. Um, if you're interested in being an engineer and love the idea of going overseas and um, tackling some of the world's toughest issues, you can do that here in the University of Wyoming. Um, we understand as staff and faculty here at the university that we would not be here if it wasn't for you as students. So we are very focused on your success as a student. We are here to serve you. Um, one of the ways that we do that is through um, academic tutoring that is available for all of your classes here at the University of Wyoming, um, along with emotional and mental health support as well while you're here on campus. We want to make sure that when you show up to the university that you leave being the best version of yourself during your four years here. When it comes to financial aid, the University of Wyoming is ranked number three for best value university in the country. Um, this takes into account two things, our low cost of out-of-state tuition along with our high job placement rate. Um, the University of Wyoming sat at 79% job placement rate um, during a global pandemic when the national average was 46%, uh, which is something we're really proud of here. Um, in our engineering specific majors, we had an 86% job placement rate. And before COVID, we sit around that 89 to 90% job placement rate. I think that's really important to share because I don't know how many of you want to go to get a college degree and can't get a job afterwards. We're here to help you along the whole journey at the University of Wyoming. Our brown and gold commitment is what we call our freshman scholarship opportunities. Um, we're the Cowboys here at the University of Wyoming, and part of being a Cowboy is having integrity, right? Once you guys know exactly how much school is going to cost you. Um, so this is our brown and gold commitment grid. The way this works is find your unweighted high school GPA over here on the left, SAT, ACT score, find where they intersect. We are test optional for the fall of 2022. So come right over here to find your scholarship right there. Um, May 1st is our confirmation deadline. Um, confirm your enrollment before this date to lock in your free money. If you have above a 3.0 unweighted high school GPA, you'll be directly admitted to the University of Wyoming, along with we're looking for four years of English, math, and science, and four years of additional coursework. This is like Spanish one, Spanish two, things like that, and then three years of a social science. Um, there's two different ways you can apply to the University of Wyoming. I highly encourage you to apply directly through our website. It's the most streamlined way to do it. We don't ask for any essays or letters of recommendation, so it doesn't take you any longer than 30 minutes. We're just looking for that high school transcript. Um, you can also apply through the Common App. Um, it does take a little bit more time, but you can send that out to multiple universities. Um, apply regardless of how you go about it. There will be a $40 application fee. Uh, once again, my name is Logan Weinholt. Um, thank you guys for being here today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. That's what I'm here for. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, next up we have Johnson & Wales University. Hi, my name's Marisa Marcy and welcome to Johnson & Wales University. I'm an admissions rep and I'm joined here tonight by our College of Engineering and Design Assistant Dean, Nick Lamana. Johnson & Wales University is very different from other universities. For starters, we have two campuses, 
Providence, Rhode Island in the Northeast where we were founded in 1914 and Charlotte, North Carolina in 2014. Both are very beautiful, vibrant cities with tremendous sky high potential for opportunities after graduation. Combined, we have about 6,500 students. They represent a beautiful diversity. They come from all 50 states and about 50 foreign countries. Both campuses are very welcoming, very inclusive, and we are a private nonprofit university. What really sets us apart is our learning by doing. We believe in hands-on education. So we don't have any lecture halls here at Johnson & Wales. You'll be in learning labs that simulate the real world and really prepare you for um, your career after college. And best of all, at Johnson & Wales, you will jump right into your major in your freshman year. Unlike at other schools where your general education requirements are front-loaded, kind of making your first two years feel like grade 13, you will be in your major as a freshman and you will learn from the best. Our faculty have phenomenal industry experience and they're really good teachers too, because all of our class sizes are small. About 18 to one is the average class size. They really become your mentors. And we have over 50 majors at Johnson & Wales, including business, culinary arts, and hospitality. But let's focus on our STEM programs. They fall in our College of Engineering and Design, our College of Health and Wellness, and Arts and Sciences. And all embrace a collaborative approach to education with a focus on sustainability. And again, very hands-on. You will learn the theory, but you'll put it into practice right away. We also believe in interdisciplinary studies. So you can combine various majors. You can even customize your own major and you can do specializations. For example, with our computer science major, you can specialize in software engineering or network engineering, and you have flex options, including video game design, finance, and forensics. Um, they're all premier programs, but one of our most popular is cyber threat intelligence and defense. That curriculum is aligned with NSA standards. Our internship sites include EMC2 Partners, Johnson & Johnson, and Palo Alto Networks. Our students participate in the leading cybersecurity conference, InfoSec World Annually, and the Hack Wu team always earns top awards at MLH hackathons. Another very popular program is our biology major. Student labs encompass everything from our human cadaver lab to collecting data in Narragansett Bay. And specializations include biomedical science, environmental science, and plant studies. And Johnson & Wales offers competitive pathway to our own PA, physician assistant grad program, and occupational therapy doctorate, as well as a three plus three biology doctor of pharmacy program with the University of St. Joseph. And this is what it's really all about. At Johnson & Wales, we have a 97.7% career outcomes rate. That means that when they graduate, Almost all of our students are doing what they want to do, whether it's launching their careers or going on to grad school, medical school, law school, and such. And we get that astounding rate because our internship program is one of the best in the country. Other colleges come to us to find out how we've done it. Um, many of them pay, and 73% of our students receive a job offer where they've done their paid internship. And even as a freshman at Johnson & Wales, you'll be going to career conferences, learning how to network with the movers and shakers who have the careers you want to have someday. We have a wonderful study abroad program. Every major has that option. They cover every continent except Antarctica. And of course, we want you to have a happy, healthy social life. So, so many different clubs and organizations. Um, we have athletics, we're NCAA, D3, and we have esports beautiful dorms. Um, we even have pet friendly dorms and um, outstanding food in our in our dorms as well. And with Johnson & Wales, 95% of our students receive financial aid. We have very generous merit based scholarships that are renewable. And we have national student organization scholarships. So if you've ever belonged to TSA, FBLA, HOSA, Skills USA, or any of these other groups, mark it on your application. And as long as you're accepted, you will get a renewable scholarship for it. And we are open for both in-person and virtual tours. 
it's very easy to apply to Johnson and Wales. We have our online no fee application and we're also on the Common App. We are test optional, but we encourage you to submit them if you've taken them. With us, your scores can only help you, they can't hurt you. In your senior year, if you apply by November 1st, you'll find out before Thanksgiving if you've been accepted and earned any scholarships. And of course, you can get transfer credits if you score three or higher on an AP exam, or if you're in an IB program, or have taken some college classes. Um, and by the way, after November 1st, we just go into rolling admissions. And of course, you can follow us on social media. And Johnson and Wales is very welcoming, very inclusive, great student support services. We have a center for academic support. If anyone has learning differences, they just need to self-identify and our professionals there will work with you. The bottom line is if someone is accepted to Johnson and Wales and enrolls, we want you to be successful and you will have a whole team of people there supporting you every step of the way. So if you'd like to get more information, please text Wildcats to 75192 and go Wildcats. Thanks. Thank you. All right, next up is the University of Washington Tacoma. All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome from Tacoma, Washington, here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, my name is Noelle Wilson. I am the undergraduate undergraduate advisor and recruiter for the School of Engineering and Technology, and I also have with me Beth Ann Hoover, and I'm an academic advisor for our sciences and mathematics students. So like I said, we are the University of Washington Tacoma, and uh, we are part of, let's see here, we are part of a tri-campus system. So there is the University of Washington located in Seattle. There is the University of Bothell located in Bothell, University of Washington Bothell. And then we are located to the south in Tacoma. Um, we are the smallest of the three in the tri-campus uh, system. We have about 5,300 students. 56% of our students are first-generation college students. So we have been recognized as a first-gen forward campus. We also have ranked in the top 50 of most diverse campuses. So you can see a breakdown of who are the students on our campus and where do you fit in? Tacoma, if you haven't been here, is a city that is located between Puget Sound, Saltwater, and the mountains. This really affords our students the opportunity to use the city and our natural surroundings as an extension of their classroom experience here at UW Tacoma. Mm -hmm. Part of being at the University of Washington Tacoma as well is we are also an urban serving institution. So we are very embedded in the community. So students and their faculty are able to engage with the community, with community partners, and really be a part of the fabric of the city of Tacoma. So within the School of Engineering and Technology, we offer the following degrees. We offer Information Technology, Computer Science, which offers a BS and a BA. We offer Electrical Engineering, Computer Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, and Civil Engineering. Mechanical and Civil Engineering are two newest programs. We are welcoming our first cohort of our civil engineering this fall, and we're welcoming our second cohort of mechanical engineering this year. So our labs and the facilities that have been built are state-of-the-art, brand new equipment. We have a new building under construction that will be opening in January that will also house some of our mechanical and civil engineering labs. Also, we work with our, our faculty work with folks in the industry. So we've worked with Tacoma Public Utilities, our power company, uh, to ensure that the equipment that we have is going to be the same caliber that the students will be working with once they get out into the industry. So all of our labs, brand new equipment, and our students are able to really gain that knowledge and experience with, this, uh, with these machines. We also have in our sciences, we have a Bachelor of Arts program in environmental sustainability. And we have three Bachelor of Science programs as well in mathematics, in environmental science, and in biomedical sciences. These are interdisciplinary programs which give students the opportunity to get to choose some of the classes that are most interest to them or might be most relevant to whatever their professional goals are beyond their bachelor's degree. So that might be students that are taking an oceanography field course as a requirement for their environmental science degree. They can go 
out into out on a boat out of the water with their class and then bring their their samples into the lab and conduct the research here on campus. So it gives students the opportunity to again use that natural environment that surrounds us as part of their real world research that they're doing for their degree requirements. So once you get your education here at the University of Washington Tacoma, where do you go for jobs? This is just a sampling of where students are employed. So students choose uh, local or state government, but also we are in a tech hub. So students go on to Microsoft, Amazon, T-Mobile, Blue Origin. I have students that are working with Jeff Bezos um, in his space exploration, um, but not all students. Students aim to work in the large tech companies. So um, students will aim for smaller companies, also nonprofits. So the um, you know, the city is your campus, as we like to say, but there's tons of opportunities for our students to engage with folks from the industry, um, no matter what size of your of employer that you're looking for. And the variety of jobs that our graduates have upon graduation. So it might be that they are working in a lab um, in a medical research facility, getting to do direct research right after getting their bachelor's degree. It might be that they got their prerequisites done for pharmacy school or veterinary school um, while completing their bachelor of science degree and are headed directly into those professional health programs. Our students also go on to graduate programs. We also offer graduate programs on our campus, um, but also going into the field, you may be working as a computer engineer, as a robotics engineer, a video game designer. Uh, you may be working in cybersecurity and keeping all of us safe with all of our online information. Again, these are just a sampling of the opportunities of where our students, what our students are doing with their degrees out in the industry. 100% of our classes here at UW Tacoma are taught by faculty. This gives students the opportunity to do direct research as an undergraduate um, with their faculty and get the great um, advice and tips that our faculty have to offer as well. Outside of campus or outside of uh, the classroom experience, we have lots of great resources for students, some of those being the pantry. The pantry is our answer to food insecurity for college students, which is a real issue across the US. Um, but this is a, our version of a food bank that's free for students to be able to engage with on a weekly basis and get those resources that they need. We also have the Teaching and Learning Center for writing assessment um, assistance, as well as quantitative skills, and again, first gen support. Uh, we also have on-campus housing, um, which are apartment style. So no um, small dorm rooms, but you are living in your own apartment, but on campus with resources. And this is our contact information if you'd like to learn any more about the University of Washington Tacoma. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Alrighty, we have Texas State University next. Great, thank you so much. Sorry, I'm like trying to find my, my screen. We all disappeared, but can y'all hear me okay? Yep. Yeah? Okay, cool, sorry, it's because I can't see anybody. Okay, there we go. Um, so a little bit about Texas State University. Um, we've been um, here since 1899, and somehow I managed to skip all the way to the end. I am so sorry about that. Um, so we've been around since 1899 in the state of Texas. We are located in the beautiful hill country in San Marcos, Texas. Um, we were originally a smaller school, a normal school that produced educators, and we still are a top producer of educators today. But now we have almost, oh, one second. I don't know why that happened. Um, we have almost 100 undergraduate degrees that we offer now. We have two locations, one in San Marcos, one in Round Rock. Um, San Marcos is going to be home to the vast majority of our programs, but one of our programs that is in the College of Science and Engineering that can be completed at the Round Rock campus is going to be computer science. Our fall 2020 total enrollment was 38,000 students. Just for some context, between six and 7,000 of that were freshman students, and then around 3,000 were transfer students. So we do have a large incoming class every year. Um, so a little bit about our student population. Sorry, I don't know why that's happening. Um, a little bit about our student demographics. 46% of our students are first generation students. 55% um, of our students do self identify as ethnic minorities with students from all 50 states and 74 different nations. 80% um, of our students are working or continuing education within one year after graduating. There's a lot of opportunities to be involved on camp on Texas State campus. I'm so sorry. I don't know why that 
hang on, sorry. I don't know why that keeps on happening. Um, okay, so let me try this a different way. Hold on. Okay. I am so sorry about that. All right, there we go. Okay, that should be fixed now. Okay, I'm sorry about that, you guys. Um, all right, so let me just kind of skip forward a little bit here. So we do have our over 400 student organizations that you can get involved with, over 10 colleges. And then we're also going to have the College of Science and Engineering, which is what a lot of you probably wanted to hear about today. Um, so the College of Science and Engineering is going to offer a wide, of, a wide array of undergraduate and graduate programs. Um, we have science, engineering, and technology disciplines, including biology and chemistry. Within the um, Department of Chemistry, we actually have an integrated opportunity to do a bachelor's and master's of science in both chemistry and biochemistry. So if you have long-term research goals, that can be a way to help you to achieve that. We're also going to have our physics degree, mathematics, computer science, engineering, and the engineering technology degrees. For computer science, you have a couple of different options. You have both the Bachelor of Arts and the Bachelor's of Science available to you. Um, and within the Bachelor's of Science, you're also going to have that computer engineering emphasis that will be available if you're wanting to pursue that. Housed outside of the College of Science and Engineering, but also computer science adjacent is actually going to be our computer information systems and quantitative methods degree. Um, that's going to be housed in the McCoy College of Business. So if you're interested in computer science, but you're also interested in business, you might be interested in that. We're also going to have our engineering degrees. Um, we've had industrial engineering and manufacturing engineering. We actually have senior design projects built into those um, majors and our students have capstone projects where they actually go work at area firms. And then that can oftentimes turn into a long-term internship and eventually a career. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we also have a civil engineering degree, which is going to have that smart infrastructure built into it. There's a couple of other programs like our civil engineering degree that at MIT and at Berkeley. So for kind of that comparable smart infrastructure um, area of study within that civil engineering degree, you can get that at Texas State. We're also going to have the engineering technology degree as well. Um, the engineering technology degrees are going to include things like construction science and management, concrete industry management, and more. Um, we just are, we're just now adding a brand new mechanical engineering degree that we're also really excited about this fall. It'll be the inaugural year um, for that program. Um, what else can I tell you about that? The programs are designed to be student-centered um, and they're structured to have extensive hands-on experience as well. Texas State is very much an undergraduate focused institution. Although we do have master's and doctoral students, um, most of our students are gonna be undergraduate students. And as an emerging research institution, that's where a lot of funding is going to be concentrated is in those undergraduate students. Um, okay, all right. So let's go on to the next slide and hopefully it doesn't play sound again. Okay, so a little bit about our freshman admission standards is, sorry, it's like I'm using a different slide than normal and the sound is playing. Okay, so a little bit about our freshman admission standards. Um, for incoming freshman students, most of them are going to go through some sort of holistic review process. Um, we are looking for a recommended curriculum for our incoming freshman students that's going to include four years of English, four years of math, four years of science, and three years of social studies, in addition to two years of foreign languages, one fine arts, and one PE credit. For out-of-state students, this can look a little bit different um, since we are kind of representing a wide variety of areas across the country today. Um, and if you want to have it, if you have any questions about that, definitely reach out to your admissions counselor about that. Um, we do have assured admission standards that are published as well. These are going to be based on your class rank and on your SAT or ACT test score. We, for the 2022 terms, are still allowing actually applications all the way up until June 1st for our freshmen and all the way up until August 1st for our transfer students. Um, but um, those are not requiring test scores, but we may require test scores next year. So it looks like I'm out of time and I'm sorry about the technical difficulties, but thank you so much for your time. And I'll drop a link so you can find out more information about Texas State. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, at this point, I'd like to welcome everyone back on screen so we can hear from you one more time before we wrap up this evening. <clears throat> All right, and if I could have, Lauren, if you wouldn't mind uh, stopping the share so we could see everybody, would be good. Yeah.
Thank you so much. All right. Okay, so my quick question for everyone here this evening is what is one thing you want students to remember about your program, specifically your STEM program, um, that you just, it's the one takeaway for, for the evening, and I want to jump back up to Newman University to kick us off. I think uh, one of the really nice things about our STEM programs is that our students get to do a one-on-one -on -one research project um, with a faculty member of their choosing. Um, they typically present this project as part of a capstone project that they present on what is called Scholars Day at Newman University. And it's usually the week before commencement. So they work on this project for a semester or an entire year, and it all just kind of culminates right before commencement and they get to present. Um, I've been, I've judged some of these at Scholars Day. It's really cool to see all of that work come to fruition and for them to be super proud of it. Thank you so much. Oklahoma City University. Oh, sorry about that. Could you repeat that question? My internet was freezing. No, that's fine. Absolutely. What is one thing you want students to remember about your STEM programs? Um, I think maybe our small class sizes, um, since students really do get the one on one with their professors. Um, and then for after graduation, they are like preparing them for that and building them like building a relationship with students and like a mentorship, um, helping them uh, write recommendation letters and finding um, internships and things like that. Awesome. Thank you. University of Wyoming. Yeah, of course. Um, the University of Wyoming is the only four-year school in the state of Wyoming. That makes us really unique because we don't have to fight for any state or federal funding. So especially with STEM programs, we get all of the money and it goes into all of our programs. So regardless of what you're looking at in STEM, we do it all at a world-class level here, especially with us being a nationally recognized research institution. You're going to get that time to have those research opportunities to, to find what you want to do with your future. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Johnson and Wales University. Okay, I, at Johnson and Wales University, it, it really is all about the hands on learning. You do learn the theory, but you put it into practice right away in your freshman year in state of the art labs uh, with faculty who have phenomenal industry experience and, and really become your mentors too. So I think it's that real, learn, real world learning with internships built into the curriculum that lead to our 97.7% career outcomes rate. Awesome, thank you so much for that. University of Washington, Tacoma. I, uh, at UW Tacoma, our STEM students really have that unique opportunity to work directly with faculty on projects that are relevant and important to them. So whether that's something um, industry related or something that they're passionate about in um, the healthcare field, whatever it might be, their um, opportunities, they get to do this at an urban serving institution um, that also has all of those um, natural surroundings as well. Awesome, thank you so much. Texas State University. Hey there, thank you. Um, something I'd want you to keep in mind about our STEM programs is that we're always growing, we're always adding something new. Um, Texas State is super innovative. We just added that brand new mechanical engineering degree, but we do have a plethora of other opportunities within our STEM programs. Um, again, we are a very undergraduate focused institution, so there are a lot of research opportunities for our students. And our location itself kind of gives a lot of room for our students to have great internship and co-op opportunities. We're really close to Austin and San Antonio. We're actually right in the middle. Um, so that can be a really unique opportunity for our students. Wonderful, thank you so much. Alrighty, so with that, we are going to wrap things up for the evening. So I wanna send a big thank you to our participants for putting all this information together um, and spending this time with us. And thank you to our participants as well. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick survey. We really appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions, including our May programming. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all the other recordings at strivescan.com launch. And thank you so much again. Have a great evening.